now because the other one's getting. I was well, hard to keep an eye on two phones that are prone to running under battery or turning themselves off randomly. There we go. Really, nothing wants to start, but that's okay. Ephemerality is appropriate. If it was Sesame Street, ephemeral, ephemeral will be the word of the day. Uh, yeah, I um, I've walked these streets in absolute despair. I've walked this street, and I remember it often, where I'm crying, going, "My God, so many people have been in this position where they know that they're going to die soon because they're going to top themselves." And, um, you know, that's while I was planning how to how to do it, um, and settled on 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 a wrong way, trying to be a more gentle uh, way of renal failure, which I thought would happen more quickly. Um, well, not renal failure necessarily. Well, you know, I mean, renal failure is a whole bunch of processes. Mau Mau, you Tommy, Tommy. I think it's fucking Tommy. Tommy, is that you, mate? No, it's not. It's a fluffy cat. Um, and it's not the fluffy cat I saw the other day. videos and I'm yeah I'm resisting the urge to put them together if anyone gives a shit there's evidence at the fucking wazoo um organisations. Um, I don't think there's any honourable organisation in New Zealand. Um, the Human Rights uh, Commission appears to be close to one of the worst of them. <laughs> there's nice lights here with the ginger and I kind of drawn past this ginger of uh, dead leaves right now, now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I want to go first see what I'm going to do. Um, I realise um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go to the pool. Um, it's too cold and I haven't managed to scope it out and I don't think a sun, sunny Sunday afternoon was going to be any better than you know, a sunny Saturday afternoon. Take it. I'm not going to think of it as a whole, I'm just going to work on it like a project one step at a time. I'm going to do what I'm good at and just plan it out, pace it out, and then I'll execute it. Um, what you don't do is you worry about it all at once, right? Yeah, you don't worry about it all at once. Um, yeah, you... It's, I, d 
don't have the you know, I don't have anything approaching the training or the time for or the, you know, any other or anything like that. But I mean basically like if you if you're a soldier and like you go do lots of fucking horrible things but the thing that you do first you don't just go in and fucking train to do fucking horrible things. You train you train to do a lot of things first and the first thing is just things like discipline and routine and following instructions and following forms. Um, hello Mama. It's you again. See if it wants to say hello this time. Hi baby. I don't mind being ready to play camps, it's another it's another deal. Oh. Oh, I think I looked at me last time I saw a fucking pile of leaves. I went round round. No, that was okay. But... Oh, hi. Don't you want to say hello? Don't you want to? You did last time. You were just a bit cautious. But if you don't want to say hi pretty quick, I'll have to go home. Bye bye, honey. Be safe on the road. Bye bye. Mama, bye bye. That kind of wants to. Do you want to come and say hi? Come and say hi to me. Get off the good one right there. Mama? An indecisive cat. Yeah. Here we go, coming home for the last time. Oh, the last earthly home I will have. Um. And I'm going to make it nice and cosy and I'm not going to listen to any music. Uh, I'm just going to listen to, I have a look at my playlist, I mean my watch later playlist and I will um, otherwise I'll just listen to Mr. Vaughan. The wartime stories are really good. They, um, there's a lot of very deep emotion and sensitivity. Um, yeah. Um, it really helps for me to listen to stories by traumatised people. Uh, it's not that I wish they were traumatised, but um, we're the only people who understand each other. Yeah. And I think there's a bit of a drinkies thing at Drury straight ahead there, Drury's right over there. Yeah, I went quiet when I came downstairs. It's just like, it's just like me going all over again. And I think I have a little hypothesis. I've got a couple of hypotheses about that. Yeah, there's a real truth that I've heard a few times, and it's that, um, it's that, uh, a lot of the people that we think are our friends, 
Not that I thought Terry was my friend, and I certainly didn't think Dirty was my friend. Not that I thought they were my unfriends, but, you know, like I felt like we were neighbours, sort of neighbours. Maybe a little bit more as Jack was on Terry. But then I realised that even that little amount was um, a misperception on my part. I was about to say delusion, except it's um, oh, just extremely common. fulfilling duties to you know a uh, good enough of a project to really sort of distract me from what I'm going to do and what I'm going to do I'm going to plan out in a fairly dispassionate way it's a fairly mechanical thing I can't rely on the meds um um Yeah, I can't even rely on the meds and because I'm not going to be taking anything that's likely to, I mean apart from the Zopoclay and the Benzos, just to um, firstly allow me to approach the process, which is, you know, always, well I mean my first suicide attempt I didn't have, that was fucking horrible, and I partly made the suicide attempt because and water and just fucking cut me off the left, which was not, you know, no one cared about the fucking aftercare plan, like, they just didn't care, it's like, I'm not going to complain about how Morton, life is literally too short, but my more recent suicide attempts have involved benzos, and zopacline, not remotely as a way to um, to die, but um, uh, to to soothe me um, uh, and give me a bit of Dutch courage, I suppose. I have to say, going talking about Dutch courage, I have to say I'm pleased that I'm not. Um, I'm pleased I don't have drink. Um, I don't think that's going to help. It's just, yeah, I just have to repeat again, like it's just so weird, like... Seeming, I mean, in effect, investing in many ways in a, a future that literally does not exist. But... It's a soothing process for me to go through rather than a um, desperate, confusing, befuddling, distressing, anguishing process. It's just a slow process. A few people know that I'm going to die but, um, tonight, but... Um, you know, that's the plan, and I'm going to do my fucking job just to make sure it happens. So we'll, we'll just say die, um, because I don't want to start entertaining alternatives because I don't have a backup plan. Um, yeah, I'm just quite relaxed, but I do get bouts of, yeah. I mean, the thing is, I'm calm because I took benzos before I left. Um, um, 
but I can take credit for some of that. I am made of sterner stuff, I think. And I think it's nice to have that um, external motive, which is just the discipline and the responsibility that my granddad and my dad taught me, um, which is to always take responsibility for yourself and, you know, the fact that I'm not really alive to great consequences of leaving the place in a mess or anything like that it doesn't mean that I'm exempt from, from it, that's not how it works, it, you know, morality doesn't kick in only when you get consequences, that's like the absolute diametric opposite. And I'm not going to be able to do everything, you know, like, look, um, you're always going to have to take a bit of, you know, he, he, he's going to have to cop a bit of it, you know, like, he's, um, he's got, he's got his, his, he's played a, he's played a part in, in what's happening to me. He's, uh, turned deaf ears and he's been, He's been reasonably brutal um, in a not laying down the law kind of brutal but in a completely just blah 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 someone talking bullshit way you know and um, you know maybe he will understand a bit more about, you know, he goes on and on and on about how he protects the people living here, but um, I think he's got to broaden his understanding of not protecting the people living here, protecting them from, um, you know, I mean, he's got that protectiveness with women, and he trusts me, I, I believe that he trusts me, I don't think he would tell me that he didn't mean it. He's not one of those word mincers. Um, and he's certainly not shy with telling me that he disapproves or, or, or thinks is utterly ridiculous, something that I do. Um, but I feel that and I don't mean, because I'm going to use the term teach a lesson, and I don't mean that I'm teaching a lesson as in, um, you know, like, <laughs> um, I think this could be a very valuable lesson to him about vulnerable humans. And um, it's not because of him that I have to die but he's made my suffering worse while I've been alive here by um, just refusing to listen and saying he doesn't understand and then like I know that like I've gone to great efforts to translate stuff he won't tell me what region he's from so I can't look up his dialect um, he's got his own translation app He's just been willfully ignorant and um, instead of insulting me all the time, he No, I've had certain privileges that other people haven't had here. But he hasn't picked up. There's a corollary to that, is what I'm an outsider. And I'm, I'm better behaved than most people here. And I think that's why I've had the privileges that I can't be see that I'm a total reject and that I need more kindness. But what I'm going to do is, um, um, I 
assume my body's gonna be found tomorrow because they're gonna unless police are gonna get, do something a bit tricksy or something else happens or whatever like maybe the judge who's the actual judge tomorrow maybe has, is a bit more enlightened there might be a bit more of a softly approach than like sending the cops to fucking arrest me for not turning up um i am anticipating being discovered quite possibly well probably not before rigor mortis but you know like i'm not gonna be decomposed I don't think, but the weather, I mean, it could be very hot tomorrow, I don't know, and there are stories of kids who, you know, by the time their parents get back from the, you know, they're like in the car park, by the time the parents get back from the shop, they're already decomposing, like, you know, after like an hour, so, um, I've pulled my bed apart, um, partly because something that I had underneath it, I want to put on as a blanket, it is a blanket, it's just that, uh, I, I don't need to keep talking about every little detail, um, but I'm really mindful of, I just want to make sure that I don't make a mess and I'm gonna, um, actually take some bowel prep because I had so much, I've had so much fucking bowel prep sent to me for, for uh, colonoscopies that I couldn't make. Um, one of them I kept as a bit of evidence to show, I mean it won't matter for the criminal court, but it would matter, well it could well matter peripherally um, when the judge realises that it was, that was a family relationship, not a, not a annoying woman who wouldn't leave this was a family relationship um but certainly for the future but um, i'm just going to show in the point of the point now because there's a lot of just like a lot of um it's not proof in itself but it builds up a big picture and i believe that's called um uh fuck it's not lack of knowledge it's just my memory um Oh, I'm like really unbalanced. It's quite scary. I could easily, <laughs> I could easily die tonight just having a fucking fall, you know. Um, um, circumstantial. Like there's a lot of circum. I've had shit loads of circumstantial evidence, and one of them is that the bowel prep that um, sent to. Mitchell, one of the bowel preps got sent to Mitchell at his place. Now I haven't. Yeah, there we go. Defaulted order. Um, uh, contact Raj Shani. Fabraji Shani. I don't know who she is. Oh. Gastro department, so there was a bowel prep. I'll be nice if it was a lot of cash, but um, <laughs> who cares? So I just want to show that it's unopened and yeah, that this was sent to Mitchell. And so, I mean, I was living in Mitchell, so I ended up with bowel prep randomly sent to people's houses when you don't live there. No, um, when they, um, it's a bit like going into, it's not freeze mode, it's block mode, and it's 
kind of like your body playing dead, but when you're actually dead, the same thing happens, like there's a thing just like your it's I don't think it is, and it's not, I don't think it's part of the autonomic system. I, I don't know what it is, but everything fucking relaxes um, for a particular survival mechanism. Now, obviously, when you're dead, I don't think. I think the jig's up at that point. I don't think the body's really that fucking stupid to try to preserve any um, uh, uh, wasteful bodily um, functions when, um, uh, like. If you're doing that, get a, get a fucking real job, like, move out of the government, because <laughs> that's the kind of work that government does. Um, but, yeah, we're going to take our poop now, so start cleaning out, and I haven't mentioned a lot, but I, um, yeah, I'm going to be leaking body fluid, but yeah, no, what I'm trying to say is that I'm going to be, um, Um, putting down some uh, enough protection to make sure at least the mattress doesn't, I mean the, of course the mattress is going to protect the base as much as that needs protecting and I don't think the carpet's going to get affected, but just in case I don't decompose and uh, make a big mess. I just want to make sure that it's contained and um, you know I might even think about taking some disinfectant measures or, or something like that or fuck I don't know I don't know I don't know I'll just see how I go I'll just see the best I can I mean fuck give the girl a break hey eh? So, here we go. Um, I don't know if I'll post this tonight. Um, I was going to post it to the guy that I was talking to because I was going to show him my herbs, but the herbs were obviously for... Oh, well, not for Sonia non grata, um, flora non grata. <laughs> um, Fuck, lucky I don't need a fucking animal, eh? Like, no one would have taken an animal. No, 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 Stupid shit, man. Like, this shit. So, what kind of making that? Um, I've got my brain God, how many fucking properties have I lived in where I've had to, like, kind of, like, you know, like, fucking, um, jimmy up my, yeah, that's nice, um, jimmy up my ring cam in some sort of way because, there's just very few places that you can attach it. Um, uh, especially when someone can remove it or you're forbidden by management or something like that. So at the moment this is what it's doing and it's not doing a very good job here. Um, and it's too cold. I mean, it's doing an okay job, but it's not where I want it, and I, I, um, yeah, okay, I'm going to stop interviewing myself, and I'm just going to, like, do stuff and just put on some music or some stories, and... I can pipe up whenever I want to for the first time I'm just able to live my life I know I, I like I, 
I, I, I'm not having a horrible time on it's like here I go finally finally the fox hunts ended but I'll pop up my phone somewhere and in fact, it's probably quite a good idea for my ring cam because it's got a sort of a fisheye lens, but, but we'll see. Just for now, I'm just gonna stop yapping at my phone and my fucking underpants while it's too cold. And I'm gonna do stuff and I'm gonna. Um, Yeah, I think I want to get my ring cam out actually. Yeah, I think I want 